Recently, I started a new profile where my goal is to speedrun every single skill in preparation for a new dungeon series I've been working on. So here is what I've been up to. From the past 2-3 months, I focused mainly on doing mining content because you need a good heart as a mountain to get good XP per hour. I mostly did dailies in the Dwarfen Mines until I was able to do them in the Crystal Hollows. Not anything serious, just yet. From just doing that though, I got mining 30. On top of that, I've been preparing for Derpy, so first thing I did was set up the melee minions. This way, I get a little bit of XP from just collecting with the XP boost. It won't be a lot, but any bit passively is good. Plus, maybe by the time we do end up going for farming, the garden update comes out? Yeah, I'm just coping. It's like me waiting for the forging update. It's never coming. Another thing I did for Derpy was prepare for Alchemy 50. So I tried to follow this YouTube tutorial and build an auto brewer, but I honestly have no idea how anything works. If I can't figure it out, I'll just do it manually, but it should be easy to understand. Then finally, I of course did enchanting every day, and I'll be getting enchanting 60 hopefully during Derpy. Anyways, all of those skills are not what we are focusing on in this video. Combat. A skill I have noticed a lot of people either really like or really hate. But it's actually the least boring one, and if you play the game a lot, you end up getting it passively, but today we will be grinding for it. So here are the different ways you can get them. We have Dungeons, Zealots, Eman Slayer, Ghosts, or Zombie Slayer. Dungeons I cannot do. Zealots is good money and okay XP, but I want the best XP right now. Eman Slayer are a little too hard for us right now. Ghosts are also too hard. So the best thing I have is Zombie Slayer. The most expensive one, sadly. So without grinding combat, I started at combat 15. The first thing I did was go straight for Ref 5, Sven 5, and Tarantula 5 for that Maddox one. All I used was Strong Armor with Tarantula Helmet and Flower Truth. Tarantula Helmet didn't really help that much, it did increase the damage slightly though. Well, fast forward to after that, I realized that Derpy was in less than 2 weeks. So if I want to try to Ref Trade, I need to reach Rev 8 before it comes so I can use Axe of the Shredded and Warden Helmet. Oh my god, I can't wait to do more damage. I'm doing like 60k right now, so we'll see how much we'll get after we upgrade the armor. Ah, oh, there you go. Reaper armor. I already had the armor ready, so let's see. Alright, here we go. 87k. I think we did like 50k last time. Not bad, not bad. Considering we're like Catacomb Zero, so we don't get anything from the ancient bonus, it's not bad. Oh my god. 180k. <laughs> Oh, this is so good. I can do them so much faster now. So look, every time I crouch, I get double damage. That's what makes it so much better too. Okay, so I actually upgraded my weapon. I put one for all. And I'm actually doing double the damage. And that's without crouching. Look at that. Okay, look, look, look. 300k. Oh, this is beautiful. I don't know why I didn't do that sooner. So now I have 300 XP to get in 5 days. It's going to be easy. At least that's what I thought. Halfway through grinding, my new graphics card came here and I tried to install it. Turns out, the power supply I had sucked and I spent two days dealing with that. You know what the worst part is? I didn't even notice a difference between 1070 and 3080 Ti. Anyways, I was getting like 50k rev XP per hour so I was able to catch up. I even tried to rev trade but I honestly didn't like it. It was slightly faster but I like doing it brainlessly by myself and finding people for it anyway is hard. Halfway through the grind, I reached combat 25, which means it's time to test tier 5. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. I was just recording for the combat 25 clip. All right, here we go. Final boss. Oh, uh, one more boss. There you go. Halfway to 50, of course. Now let's see if we can do a tier five. Oh my god, this thing has so much HP. Ah. Uh, there you go. Oh my god. It's so annoying that I can't stand still. Oh, yeah, no, no, there's no way. There is no way. Oh my god. Definitely need an Axe of the Shredded and Warden Helmet. Well, we get to craft the Warden Helmet and Axe of the Shredded and test it, but it's kind of late and I want to go to sleep, so I'll do that tomorrow. Okay, so as you can see, Derpy is here. And before we continue doing the combat stuff, it's also the perfect time to get Alchemy 50. I've never actually made an Ultra Brewer before, so this is all new to me. 
I really do hope it works and I really do hope it gives you the XP. I guess we could test it out. So let's take out a stack of these, pull out the sheep pet, and then we turn this on. And now we wait. We will let that do its thing. And while we wait for that, let's do enchanting. We are going to get enchanting 60 easily doing derpy. Probably get it by tomorrow. Bruh, there's four titanics. I don't know why they still haven't fixed it where we don't know which of these pairs are actually together. Oh, power six. Let's go. Okay. Protection six now. Let's go. I love derpy already. Oh my god. That's tomorrow, 100%. Alright, it's been uh, going in actually. There is one water bottle. I don't know why this is here. It's doing good. It's doing good. I put this stuff in this hopper and it actually never went in. So there's probably some reason that I don't know of. But I just put them in here manually. I believe now if I just collect these things. Oh, those are water bottles. Probably get the XP. There you go. Look at that. Oh my god. Look at that XP. And we make some of the money back. Not too much. Yeah, we will finish that another time while we wait for all of this to finish smelting. And I will actually use all of the brewers. I was just testing with one, so it should be a lot faster. And you think we're done? We got these melons to collect. Not too many of them, but enough to get some XP. Ah, oh, look at that. And then the last one. There you go. How much did we get? Farming 27. I think we were 21. So that's pretty cool. Actually, we're not done. I just realized. There's still diamond in here. Ooh, mining 35. Oh my god, we have so much to sell. Look at that money. Nice. 33 mil. Damn. And yeah, we went up like two average, I'm pretty sure. I'm not even done. Let's check out the revenant stuff now. Alright, let's test tier 5 now with Derpy. Oh my god. He has so much HP. But I'm actually doing so much damage now with Axe of the Shredded. Oh, no, no, no. I'm low, I'm low, I'm low, I'm low. Ooh, come on. I'm so low. This is it. Oh, yes. Wait, he stole my kill. But oh my god, we killed it. Let's go. Okay, well, now we need to go and test it in the Crystal Hollow. So we need to get some kills. Actually, before we keep going, we do need this perk. In case the damage in Crystal Hollows. But I need to reset my tree. And then we just fully max this. I don't think I can get to max, but we'll do as much as we can. Ah, uh, 30. Not bad. Okay, so our goal is to either find Lapis Minions. Or we just fish a zombie sea creature. I prefer to find a Lapis, but let's see. Oh, here we go. We found one. Now we just need to make a cubby area and lure them in. All right, come on, get in here. There you go. Now I just go down here. This better work. All these preparations for nothing. Come on. 800k with the ability. I don't know if I can do this. Oh, no. He got to 4 million HP. Hmm. Ugh, it's impossible. He just stays at 20 mil. Okay, so what do we do here? So this is where stuff gets interesting. I started looking for ways I can increase my damage to deal enough damage to kill the tier 5. Since I only recently hit combat 24, I wasn't able to go to the Crimson Isle to get the Fairy Souls, so I went and got those. On top of that, I also worked on my armor by adding Recomp and also adding Gemstones. Here is how that went. Let's switch pets, and here we go. Yeah, I don't know if I could do this. Yeah, he reaches 2 million and he just fully heals. It's so stupid. Well, as expected. The only way I figured out how to do it is by borrowing someone's Ender Dragon pet. But here's the thing. I need either Wolf Pet or Champion Enchant to infinitely do this. Because I don't get enough XP to spawn the next boss. However, I cannot kill the boss with Wolf Pet because I don't do enough damage with it. And I can't kill it with the champion enchant because it would mean I need to remove the one for all enchant and I lose so much damage from that. So I guess this is a very hard problem to fix. One thing I did try though was switch to the wolf pet on the last few hits, but timing that is very hard and if I fail it, it messes up the whole ref trade. I didn't want to possibly ruin my partner's ref trade, sadly you cannot ref trade by yourself, and you know what that means. I had to go back to doing tier 4s in the hub. It wasn't bad actually. With the champion enchant, I was getting 900k to 1.1 million XP per hour. Depends on how lucky or focused I am. Alright, let's just put the last few left here. After using it, I actually think it's so easy to understand. I just wish tutorials actually explained everything, because they didn't explain anything. 
They just tell you to build this and I have to figure out how it works. A few more, come on. Oh, there you go. Alchemy 50, baby. What's my skill average? 33. We started off at 27, I think. The easiest one to max, so got that one over with. Here it comes. The last ever enchanting I'll ever do. Wait, are you serious? My game froze. No, I'm going to get limboed. Uh, uh, yep. Oh, yeah, it didn't even give it to me. Yep, okay. I'm doing it tomorrow. I'm not resetting this. Try number two. <laughs> Just want to get this over with. There you go. Finally. Oh, enchant 60. Maxed. Now I have two things maxed, which are the easy ones, of course. And what's the skill average right now? 33.5. Not bad, not bad. Okay, I'm almost... Combat 33, I think. Oh, what? 49 taming as well. Good timing. I don't think I'll hit taming 50, but we're damn close. Hey, combat 33. All right, here we go. The last day of derpy. And there you go. Combat 35. Not only that, I also got Rev 9. Like on my main almost two years ago. It took me so long to get Rev 9. Either they made it easier or I was so lazy. Not only that, we also dropped six scythe blades. Like, even on Mary Main, I wasn't that lucky. Anyways, here is the reaction of me dropping those. You scored the lowest score. Allowed, 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 allowed. Almost there and taming 50 as well. And of course, skill average 34.5. Good stuff here. I definitely would have been able to get 38, but I didn't have that much time doing derpy and not being able to do tier 5s kind of slowed me down. And then there is fishing. Meow. It's speedrun time. <laughs> that was so cringe. <laughs>